Engineer 775 down in the mech room. Sounds like a eagle song. Anyhow, this is the beginning of day one on phase two. Putting into place... Hello, Abraham. Hello. And we're going to put in the, our battery racks. And I'll be showing you the SketchUp model that we use to design the system. And uh, see if we can, how close we can get to what we put on paper in terms of getting all the right conductors and generators and house and critical loads and main panels and blah 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 and all that stuff so anyway this is exciting uh, thankfully we just got some electrician came in and set up some temporary lights for us so this mech room is lit up here's the drops for the chiller system for the buffering tank the domestic hot water tank and this is for the sun bandit well pumps, bladder tanks on this wall. Cold water wall, hot water wall, power, the power wall. All right, they just uh, hopefully won't scratch up this beautifully nice new acid etched concrete floor. And so let's get everything in place and we start building these battery racks. Woohoo! couple hours into laying things out. Go ahead, runner. Portal Vader time. Everything clear. Back saver. Four at a time. We just love this thing. Brakes on. How can you beat the old Portal Vader? Okay, I should have started this a little earlier. This is day two. We are boogieing along here. Abraham's working on a solar arc. Electricians are here dropping all the circuits in. And again, we have two grid panels, two uh, grid tie panels there, and our two critical loads panels here. There's a variety of loads we're hopefully identifying as we do this so we don't have to redo it. But if we ever have to do move a circuit, we can do it through the wire and trough. Okay, so the goal is to match this. So it's our first uh, start with SketchUp and design the system. So how's it looking? Is it looking anything like the design? So the goal is to save a lot of time and put everything where it needs to go. Not be scratching our heads. Just too many too many guys in a mech room to be scratching our heads trying to figure out where things go. So we're going to be dropping, our solar is going to be pulled through there and dropped down. And then uh, we've got generator, generator control panel. Going to mount that on the battery rack, I believe. And we'll get our transfer switches in next. So this is beginning of day two of the awesome mech room. I still can't come up with a good title for this, but uh, this is part two, phase two. This awesome mech room. You're going to see some other cool goodies in here. We're going to have some uh, chillers, buffering tanks, and they should be in tomorrow. I think they're going to set those. Here's the layout for the service entrance that's still not built yet. Here we're going to have a generation meter, the main meter. So half of the system is going to be able to be grid tie cell back, and then the other half, the other Solark, will... Um, not be it'll be zero export or limited power to home so nothing will be exported beyond this point to the grid so that's what they're working on laying out here today all right johnny's got the bull by the horns here we're about ready to pull well we were okay we're ready to pull in our first array we've got nine thousand feet of number eight for this job should be enough I hope to bring in 50 panels on this roof and then we're gonna take this and drive it over to our other conduit setup and pull in the other uh, 42 panels worth of solar we've got a little bit of everything going on the customer is just in a crunch time he's got to get this house built functional in four months so the well guys are here drilling today the geothermal guys will be here tomorrow we, the solar guys, are working in the mech room, the electricians, 
and um, just uh, getting it all done. They just showed up and they're just drilling, getting ready to put in pipe, six inch well pipe. They don't do, they're not doing a PVC here. Service entrance, power going in. Okay, end of day three. We're ready to turn the system on. We won't do it till tomorrow. It's late. We gotta go get something to eat. But everything is wired, connected, looking just like the plans, pretty much. We had a few issues with the swimming pool and the air conditioning circuits today, but they've been resolved, thankfully. So we will uh, fire it up tomorrow for you, and then we can start doing testing. We'll have to come back because the house is not completed, and I'll take you out and show you the service entrance and everything else that's being done to make this thing a success. Got any questions? Good morning folks, Engineer 775 on site, day four of an awesome project. We're having a lot of fun, a lot of technical challenges. We've added a lot of bells and whistles to this. You can see the one building over there and the solar over there that we did phase one. You can check out that video too. We're on phase two, we've been in the mech room for most of the time and uh, now we're working on making sure that our circuits go where they need to go and uh, behind me you can see there's we're still in the throes of construction. So there's gonna be a pool house here, and we're gonna be running the pool pump off of solar. We're gonna be running a bunch of chillers. Over here, there's gonna be hydronic chillers and generator, and some AC-DC 12C units down in here. And uh, so we're just getting, making sure that the circuits work at the right time of day. We're pretty much gonna consume all the power in this home and we just want to make sure that it's being spread out throughout the day appropriately so anyway looking forward to testing the system we're going to turn it on here in a little bit and uh firing it up for the first time the house isn't um nothing there's no <laughs> there are no circuits yet but we'll be able to do some minimal testing today and then come back after everything is is wired in and phase three will be startup and testing so Got any questions about installing solar? We um, have been really enjoying working with uh, the contractor on this job, the owner of this home, who's also the contractor, and just being a part of every step of the way of how to get power, air conditioning, hot water, just all the climate control, comfort, you name it, well pump. They're drilling, a, you can see the well being was drilled yesterday. And uh, so we're just been involved with all the all, all the parts of the infrastructure of this job, which has been really fun, really rewarding. Let me take you to the mech room today. All right, here we are in the mech room. We're going to test everything today. You can see two Solar Gate Ks and lots of transfer switches and batteries galore. So I'm real excited to, to turn this on and start doing some testing. It's going to be a blast. And then over on this wall will be the chiller buffering tanks, domestic hot water tanks, and the sun banded tank. And this wall is the well uh, water and filtration. So before we close everything up, I just wanted to show you, this is the, probably the largest job we've done thus far with uh, Solarks, two 8Ks. And the reason 8Ks and not 12Ks is, well, there's a couple reasons, but the main reason was this was kind of designed and thought out before the 12K was available. So we went with the 8Ks. So we're not stacking, that's why we have so many panels. We have two critical loads panels, one for each Solark, two grid panels for heavy loads. Our solar generator coming in here, grid feeds coming in there and there. So we've put in transfer switches for generators, battery charging backups and bypasses and, and then our wiring trough is full of goodies and organizers and distribution blocks and all sorts of fun just grounding normal stuff there and so we're getting ready to turn on uh, the solar cut everything landed PV and then controls for the CTs and battery temperature sensors and all the goodies and the cool thing that I've been having so much fun with is taking and taking this design so we'll do a picture after we get it all buttoned up but it's pretty close to what we wanted to do in this mech room. Voila! The only thing I didn't show in SketchUp was all the wires. 
this is all really easy work except for the wires but anyhow so uh, and then we got our air, our MC cables coming in our DC circuits up there protected in metal clad and um, the ACDC 12 C's the pool pump and all that those goodies up there with their own power distribution blocks and that's how they're less expensive than the Polaris is Johnny Johnny boy found those those are just a really neat clean move and using Polaris's or split bolts they're really they really make things look nice and they just seem to work better than the typical Polaris lug okay I'm gonna show you this is the before well before we button it up and I'll show you an after here before we depart today but we'll have to come back because this house is um, not ready we'll probably be back in a few weeks to do the series load testing and balancing out of the critical loads panels because we're doing all the HVAC through there, the, all the chillers and air handler and fan coils, which I haven't shown you yet, but I wanted to show you a full Chill Tricks design and system in case you're interested in uh, trying the hydronic chillers. Here are all the drops for the insulated PEX line sets coming in for the buffering tank, domestic hot water tank, and then the Sun Bandit we're going to use in a different way. We're going to use all four elements. But we're using um, diversion load, the smart load, off of the Solarx to go to two elements. And then we'll have grid actually feeding this element. So we'll have one, two, three, four ways at least to make hot water. So that's really, really cool. All right, we'll be back with a, a buttoned up version of this power wall. Okay, final day here of phase two. I wanted to show you some of the new cool gadgets we're getting to play with in the mech room. This is part of a Chill Tricks chiller system. We have three hydronic chillers. They're going to be heating and cooling this home and making domestic hot water. Buffering tank, 37 gallon domestic hot water tank with internal coil and a sun banded tank that we're using for storing energy from our solar system and as a preheater from our well water. Our nicely filtered well water Oh my goodness, we have reverse osmosis, we've got UV, we've got different types of media. It's going to be, might need another pump to get it through all those containers. But when it comes over here, it's going to be preheated with solar, finished up with a chiller, and then heating and cooling is going to come out of this tank. There will be uh, psychologics, a lot of controllers and valving to handle all of that. The first floor of this house is going to be with a conventional hydronic air handler. The bottom floor is going to be with fan coils. They're going to be serviced with fan coils. Um, I think we have four of those. So hopefully the manual J was done correctly there. And then we've almost finished our power wall. Batteries, dual solar arcs. Where are you guys running to? There's Abraham and Johnny. We worked hard again this week. A lot of work was done. It actually is real close to what we had wanted it to be. It's all, it's, it's super easy except for the, except for the wires so um, pretty happy everything's working we haven't been able to load test because this house doesn't have any loads yet they haven't even turned the power on yet so we'll be back in about a month to load test label clean it up test it and just turned out really well really excited we were able to put a um, pico blender on a pool pump we got direct ac dc 12c air conditioners and a lot of other goodies we haven't have a Cummins generator out there and that's a control module for that we got bypasses and transfer switches and and there's just won't even open that there's just all sorts of goodies in that wire and draw this time thanks to Johnny Valentine all right we're gonna hit the road we'll be back in a month engineer 775 signing out <laughs>